Well, in other news, it is the first night of Passover and a local Jewish family invited them, invited us right into their home. They're showing us their special recipe for making matzah from scratch. News 12's Mary Lynn Buckley joining us right now from Borough Park. Making matzah homemade, handmade, from scratch. This is how the Rappaports now prepare for Passover, as a whole family gathered together in a tent in their backyard and letting us tag along. Make sure that you have unleavened bread. That means that it has no uh, um, sourdough in it, not even a speck. It takes 18 minutes and a whole lot of hard work. To do the process, it's a specific mix of flour and water, kneeling the dough, weighing it, flattening it, and then preparing it to be sent to the oven. But only for a short time, and then it needs to cool. We kept an eye on the clock too, 18 minutes to be exact from start to finish. And then once time's up, it's time to start over again. Change all the paper, everything fresh. 18 minutes is the key word here. Matzah, which is unleavened bread, is eaten at the start of the Seder, the traditional Passover meal, along with bitter herbs. The holiday commemorates the Jewish people emerging from slavery in Egypt. We're trying the best to do all mitzvahs which uh, God said we should do. Seder dinner begins tonight, the start of Passover. And of course, matzah is on the menu. You start with three matzahs and four cups of wine. This year, Passover will be celebrated from now until next Thursday, April 13th. In Borough Park, Mary Lynn Buckley, News 12.